In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the effective rate. In case you don't know, the effective rate corresponding to a stated rate of interest, R, compounded m times per year, is found using this formula. Our question reads, find the effective rate for an account that pays 2.7% compounded, and we have to find out monthly, annually, daily, quarterly, semi-annually, and bi-monthly. So R represents, in our case, 2.7%, we want to convert this as a decimal, so we divide this number by 100. If we divide this by 100, we'll end up with 0 0.027. So we just found our R, and we can start substituting that into our formula. So the effective rate is equal to 1 plus 0 0.027 divided by M, which we'll put in in a moment. This M, which we'll leave blank, minus 1. Now M is determined by the words. In case we're using compounding monthly, your M value is simply 12, because there are 12 months in a year. So it's always relative to one year. M is equal to 12. Now before I calculate this, I'll tell you what these numbers are, or the M is, for the other five. For annually, M will be one. As a result, you should expect your effective rate and your nominal rate to be the exact same. So both will come out as 2.7. So here, m is equal to 1. For daily, we divide r by 365. Quarterly, we divide by 4. So we're dividing the year in quarters, which is 4. Semi-annually, 2. Bi-monthly means that we'll multiply the monthly, which we found to be 12, by 2, because it's happening 2 times a month. So we divide that by 24. So let's go ahead and calculate the monthly. We have 1 plus 0 0.027 divided by 12. Close the bracket, raise that to the power of 12 minus 1. We end up with 0 0.027, and you want to convert this into a percentage, so you multiply by 100, 2.73%. So the effective rate is approximately 2.73%. Let's see how this changes if we make m equal to 1. So going back here, I'll replace this 12 with a 1, and that with a 1, and we end up with, so the same percentage we started with, 2.7%. What about daily? We'll switch this to 365, that to 365, and multiplying this by 100 gives us the same thing as monthly. Let's find out what happens quarterly. We'll change this into a 4 that into a 4. Again, 2.7%. Semi-annually, that's 2. That's also a 2. 2.7% again. And bi-monthly, 24 is 2.7%. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the effective rate.